Greetings and welcome back to our seventh episode of Let's Play slash Tutorial 2 Stellaris Iron Baby Mode. So far we have talked about well the first two X basically of a 4X game um, exploration expansion or well, exploitation a little bit um, since we're you know gathering resources um, all the time anyways and we are getting closer to the last X extermination in our case that means of course assimilation since we are the bark collective and reluctance after all is pointless so um, we still need to find out who they are um, exactly uh, this will also help us finding out how strong they are um, you shouldn't rush in unless you very very certain about uh, your enemy you shouldn't rush in with uh, before you finished your first contact also I'm holding out until we've got fusion missiles uh, that are going to upgrade all of our ships accordingly and uh, then it's assimilation time so let's see we also established the fact that our northern border is somewhat secured um, there are these crystalline entities, um, two, two of the systems are very well secured, this one isn't so much, but I mean, uh, can't have it all. Um, we have concluded our study on the P-Aliens we recently captured, oh yeah, very good, yeah, we, we abducted some of the guys down here. The hostages proved unwilling to cooperate with us, but this became a moot point. Um, as we began to cut them open. <laughs> we now know um, much about the internal function of the bladders, otoliths, uh, grappling fins and other body parts, giving our genetic research, subroutines, valuable xenobiological data. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, we actually get a uh, thousand society research. Driven to terror by the cruelty of our action, a handful of the aliens who we now know to be Salorim cooperated with us as we sought to translate the language and access their computer system. As a result, we now have considerable intelligence we are able to deploy against them should we should the need be should the need arise. Intel. Yes, that is very good. This was really, really a foreign really entity useful. has encrypted our communication. Awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah. And they also decrypted our communication at the same time. Weird. I wish no harm bark, but know that we do not look kindly upon our kind being subjected to unspeakable atrocities on your operating tables. You have already earned our eternal displeasure. Do not push us further. Um, so, yeah, usually you have the chance of, of deciding how to approach uh, your new neighbors. And it's always pretty much the same. The uh, friendly um, approach means that their opinion of you gets a significant bonus. The, um, the moderate approach makes it more difficult for them to create a spy network on you. And the hostile approach means that they hate you, like they, the same bonus on opinion you get here as a, as, as a penalty, but you get a bonus on um, establish a spy network with them so um, you usually um, on a normal game you check out the um, the ethics they use and their government if they align with yours more or less it's usually more useful to go with a more friendly approach if they're already contrary to yours you might want to go with a more hostile approach reason for this is um, if you if their opinion of you is at minus 400 because they are ab absolutely contrary to you then plus 50 doesn't make really a difference but if they're already more or less you know um, friendly if they seem to be um, of the of a, of same belief systems then pushing them further up might make you a new ally or at least uh, give you the opportunity to, to start with with a few um, packs um, trade packs, research pack and, and the like. But yeah, as if you if you 
um, assume hostilities soon, might as well at least get the um, penalty for them on uh, spying on you, or you might want to get a bonus on your spy network against them. I don't think we're going to spy a lot, but I mean, I don't mind them spying on me that much, but quite frankly, I, I think um, I think I want to be relatively sure about what's going on. So let's let's send them a spy. We have an envoy left, so that's cool. Uh, our theoretical models have long suggested the existence of other intelligent civilization in our galaxy. This theory has been confirmed. The alien political entity that have been encountered has a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we achieved spaceflight at roughly the same time, which is yeah quite a coincident so now with our new intel on them yeah let's let's have a look at contact actually so what does intel mean um you get a you get a good idea here so they hate us right the terrible relationship minus 811 the 50 points uh, that we got from our um, hostile first contact doesn't really make a difference the reason for this is we are a um we are a hive mind. Uh, this is already uh, this is already usually bad for most uh, other species, but since we are also driven assimilators, we get another big penalty. Um, so there was barely a chance that they might like us. Um, so Intel means how much do I know about them? Right now, here this is usually where the relative power of them uh, is, is uh, broken up. And we, we just don't have enough intel on them. So how do we increase intel? Yeah, well, you could um, create a, a exception embassy. They won't they won't do that with us. For this, usually they have it to be at least uh, not hating us, and then only suspicious. But still, um, the other option is of course espionage, and that is what we're doing right now, because I. We have 60 more months. I, I want to use that in order. Oh, we have an asset. I totally forgot about that. So, um, establishing a spy, a spy network means that you will gain infiltration level over time. Infiltration level can be used for a number of um, different actions. Most interesting at the beginning is usually gather information, which increases the, the intel and um, also helps you with further um, spy actions because they ha you have a cap on your infiltration level that very much depends on a bazillion different things we don't need to go into grand detail here um, but if you see our infiltration level has a max of 50 and there is armed privateers for instance which costs 60 means we can never reach that once we do gather information our infiltration level is uh, or the cap is um, increased and then we can uh, do the more complicated stuff um, yeah but I'm currently as I said more interested in Intel than any of these actions most of them are relatively self-explanatory or if you hover over them it tells you very pretty much what they do an asset since we already have one it gives you a bonus on any of these actions that coincide with the you know with the icon so this asset is good for subterfuge and manipulation meaning it would help us with acquire a new asset or extort favors smear campaign and so on oh steel technology as well nice that's a very good one it's really like almost everything it's like the last two could benefit from this asset that is really cool eternal organs what the heck the name of the asset is internal organs and sure why not um, so yeah and here it breaks up what Intel you currently have and that is um, none which is a shame because I have 35 um, I think that means that there, there should be an update on, on these stuff I think this will be used to update some of the Intel soon and just just now got it um, we'd see about this well, let, let me just oh yeah here we go <laughs> so now with the that was 
pretty that, that was that was beautiful as if i uh, planned for it so now we have the intel well, we had it already now it's applied and we now know that the fleet power of them is equivalent to ours um which is good i'd say because we haven't really built any fleet uh, not too much fleet yet and our uh, fleet has not been upgraded with new technology yet so we will soon exceed their fleet power hopefully their economic power is equivalent to ours which is also okay because our economic power currently is bad i would say because <laughs> uh, we are not good at expanding our territory without assimilation so they have not uh, had a very fast start um, to the game. They're not really expanded much. And now the great news is their technology is inferior to ours, which I did not expect, but it's a nice gimmick. So I am relatively hopeful that we can actually um, take uh, take them in a fight. And now we also, the Intel also helped us uh, learn something about the territory. We know that they have three star bases, which is annoying. Only one planet, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken. Um, one planet we know of. So this is definitely where we go for um, initially. The, the other star bases are not super relevant. Might be more interesting to see if there's something interesting behind them here. All right. Yeah, that is good, I'd say. Um, yeah might as well continue yeah yeah, yeah. we uh, established uh, our first spy network in the union of atlas so here we are still digging up artifacts this one is investigating yeah i'm, I'm waiting on uh, the new technology before building new ships although i could actually build a few ships now to um so i only have to upgrade them later oh wait we have new technology i am um not entirely sure what has been oh sh uh, the uh, shields i guess yeah it's the only literally the only thing that is new here <laughs> um i'm not upgrading them right now i will build a few new ships though um, oh, new aliens, the Sin aliens, that's, uh, all right, in Vasca, let me just check on that, but let's build two new ships first, uh, yeah, yeah, so let's send our free envoy there, I was kind of expecting to find someone here or there, uh, wait, we can actually check, it's most likely, oh, they already left yeah but then it, i guess oh um, it might be not uh, might have not been a ship might have been actually transmission that we um captured so there's a good chance that we'll find a sta uh, star base in this system once we finish our survey here right yeah ships are being transferred wait what is your home base uh yeah that's correct yeah so as i said uh, earlier when you use the ship the, the fleet manager to build new um, ships the uh, the build order will be uh, spread on all available um star bases in the vicinity right now of course we only have one shipyard up the other one is still being built um we have a what we have detected the presence of a pre-space alien civilization aye, 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 on vasca one in the vasca system atmospheric contaminate con, uh, contaminants and light pollution visible from orbit are consistent with a densely populated machine age society they appear to have mastered air travel and factories are mass producing goods in the cities we should consider building an observation post above the above the world and study them more closely um i might actually do that oh yeah that is um i mean we are going to assimilate them eventually so are you seriously are you system survey complete building outposts in my systems oh he's passing no he's he's building an outpost yeah 
I unbelievable. I mean, it's, it doesn't matter. It's actually kind of nice of them because we are going to claim this um, once the, 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 the war starts. And uh, so we're going to get this without building a star base there. The star base, um, if it's not upgraded, uh, the outpost rather, if it's not upgraded, it, it is no match for any halfway reasonable mm -hmm. fleet. Um, so we're, we're saving uh, some some resources by them doing this, but this is so stupid. This is a typical AI move, because um, this this is going to fall very soon. What is our tech doing? Thirteen more months. Hmm. I don't want to start the war without the upgraded ships. Quite frankly. Um, while our expedition keeps sifting through the data to decode the mega structures plan, they have found another excerpt of what looks like a religious text from the personal files of, quant of the quantum architect. I spoke the truth and my people answered with chaos. Each of us labors in our own fog of thoughts and emotions. We tend to reach out to others, yet so many of us are alone. Our gods crafted the world from darkness, we are told, and we were uh, allegedly the centerpiece of their creation. Because I dared to dream of worlds beyond, I was told my, visions was, my vision was a lie. Who among us, others asked, could confirm these dreams? How can we believe, they said, what we cannot prove? And in response, I let those who would listen to my, labor, to my laboratory. The brightest minds could perceive a reflection of what I experienced, other worlds beyond the veil of night. The darkest minds crafted other responses, formed new arguments, clutched deadly weapons. Dangerous minds sang that our world would be in turmoil, for we were no longer the favorite spawn of the gods. Yet I knew the truth. Creation's illumination was a vast tapestry. tapestry. Contemplating the majesty of the cosmos, I was swept away in tides and rupture, lost my identity. Right. Intriguing indeed. We get some engineering research from that. So now I am a little bit concerned. 30 more months means that, that this has gotten the opportunity to be upgraded into a star base. Um, maybe we should actually attack earlier. <laughs> I didn't close my borders. I'm such a fool. Yeah. Um, I am, I'm just confused by what's going on here for a moment. And that was actually stupid. So if you do something like I do, um, being very aggressive, you might want to actually have a look at the policies, <laughs> contrary to what I said in the first video. Like, I mean, this is not, this is not absolutely devastating, but just to make things a little easier for us in the future. There is a policy, initial border status. It says open. So whenever we meet a new species, we let them fly wherever they want. If I don't want that, I can set this to close. Uh, now this is locked for the next 10 years. I cannot change it back, which means now this happens when I meet a new species. I cannot at the moment fly in any of their systems because they have closed their borders to me. Um, mine are still open, they can f fly through mine, but um, they uh, deny me access. I of course get access as soon as I declare war on them. So now this is only for the initial um, border situation when I meet a new uh, species. If I want to change the situation with those guys, I can go on contacts, click on them or just click on one of the planets and tell them close borders. Bam. So from now on, now this, this guy here is almost stuck, like he can still go down here um, to this part, but he will not be able to leave back and uh, uh, leave back um, home, homewards. And you can see even uh, if your borders are closed or not by clicking on a ship of the other species. And then you can see, all right, he can, he's allowed to move to Eriga, but that's it. Right. Um, 
you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it. If, if they want to build a starbase here, so be it. Uh, it would be a waste of resources. Uh, I mean, even if they build a shipyard here and start to build new fleets, it's uh, gonna be pretty much wasteful and, and not helping them in the, in the long process. So our Legion node, so the equivalent of our, of our Admiral has leveled up. Submax speed and ship weapon damage is good. Edict stuff, I mean, it's also not bad, but I'm, I, this, you are responsible for the fleet. Yeah, let's, let's do more of that. Um, right. I'm, I think I'm gonna speed up a little bit because I want to get to the, oh, another level up. That is our scientist. We have one cyborg scientist. Oh yeah, the um, guy who's excavating. <sighs> well, yeah, why not? Why not anomaly discovery chance? I would have hoped for something for excavation. Construction complete. Uh -huh. um, terraforming candidate discovered. Uh, I'm, I'm don't have go through details. There's a planet that is toxic, but if you get the correct technology you can actually terraform it and um, system survey complete make it a technological planet. acquisition successful so i haven't found the scenarios uh, there is no starbase here hmm, maybe i'm mistaken maybe someone was flying through after all uh, oh here we go uh, there we are it's good to become apparent that the so-called Sin are in fact part of a major spacefaring civilization, our probes, and the Celero system. Oh, here. I have to take the starship fitting between a number of space stations across the system. Have they? Oh, yeah, they have. <laughs> Should have maybe checked out the system. So I was right. There is a space station here, and uh, we got um, their transmissions. So, larger military station, we have been able to intercept considerable volumes of communication traffic, but so far accurate translations have proven elusive. So I could again nap some of them. And I mean, why not? Why not? It worked well the first time, after all. Uh, also, ah yeah, 5% more speed, uh, uh, for research speed. Um, pom -pom -pom. Energy grid, given that I'm currently losing money, I think I'm going for the energy grip. Grid. I will have a grip on my energy grid. Now I saw that we are almost done with the fusion missiles. Very good. So let's go. Technological there, acquisition successful. Do that. And get. Um, yeah, um, I'm going for the Sanders Corvette patterns. Um, gives me bonus on build cost and speed for Corvettes, but in theory also frigates, but I can't build frigates at all. Um, reason for this is uh, we are still in the very early game. All I build is Corvettes. Uh, it doesn't take too long to research the sets. It's still valuable, like I'd say. Now change our design. I said I want to go for an all missile build. I don't know if that's a good idea, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, I haven't done this in ages. Um, missiles used to be utterly OP in very early builds of the game, then they got um, restricted, um, and now you can still have a bunch of them. Oh, they're still out there. I, I'm not quite sure if this is super valuable. Um, we'll see about this also. Uh, a friend pointed out to me that you that excess excess energy is somehow um, added to your damage output. So you see, I I get from nine point six nine point six um, DPS to nine point seven by adding a reactor boost. I think the 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 excess energy um, adds more if you're using energy weapons. Um, so I'm, I'm not buy, uh, paying the extra 5 alloys for, for 0.1 point uh, uh, DPS. 
yeah, this is a little bit risky because um, if someone would be able to counter my size very well by either having um, the uh, picket ships and then uh, point defense weapons or by going all out on armor because um, one of the great uh, perks of missiles is they they ignore shields if the enemy doesn't have shields if they go all in for armor and they're significantly less useful um, so that might counter us a bit and and uh, would uh, be quite an issue but um, I hope they they go for a um, for a more moderate approach more moderate than we do and therefore this might actually be very useful um, and that means for me we are upgrading our ships I have some uh, some materials still lying around meaning we can also build more ships let's go with yeah four more ships and once the upgrade is done i'd say we go for uh the attack usually what you have to do before declaring war um you usually have several war goals we only have assimilation because we are the bark but um usually you can try to humiliate someone which is I, I think I've never done you can try to claim systems and then um, gain those specific systems or vassalize someone for claiming systems or for, for conquering specific systems you have to make claims make claims basically go on diplomacy make claims and then uh, select the systems you want to claim for each system you have to pay influence depending on how far they are away and only if you win the war you get those systems um, you have to be, be careful when systems contain planets because um, in order to win the war you usually have to capture those systems if they have planets you also have to capture the planets that it's not enough to just have the outpost for us this is not really super relevant we are the bark we just assimilate them um, we start a war and then we grab whatever we can which makes stuff a little easier for us um, less complicated and also in most cases more efficient we don't have to plan ahead on what we think we can take we just see how far we can push it each war um, i want to wait until the upgrades are done and i think technological acquisition we we'll actually uh do a break and uh do start the war next episode um i can't decide i can't decide um more research if you can't decide just pick more research uh yeah i think that's enough for this episode uh, which is pretty much the the threshold like our preparations for war um, are finished so almost finished the upgrades are still being conducted oh yeah because the, I, I'm an idiot the space station is busy because um, they're building spaceships right now they can only uh, per shipyard you have on your star base they can do one thing either build a ship or um, upgrade a ship so i will i uh, didn't want to do that i wanted the corvette push down a bit so that we start with the upgrade there we go and now we're upgrading our fleet um, and uh, when this is done we can uh, construction complete. attack our enemies because uh, every ship we build afterwards is going to be um, moved to our fleet automatically uh, as, as long as you build them with the um, with the ship um, with the fleet manager that is of course mm -hmm. just we check on this one recover more files we did uh, 
Yeah, there's even more stuff. I might read it next time because um, we can access this later on anyways. Um, sure. Okay, and more. Oh, our, oh, our interrogation has gone disastrous. Oh, our drone and for unit A5 died. <laughs> the ship was destroyed. Oh my goodness. So, well, you... Oh, right. I currently don't have a new envoy for that. Oh, that's a shame. We have to wait until we have a new envoy. <laughs> this is an unfortunate end of the episode. Uh, I didn't even know that an envoy could die that way. Anyways, um, I hope I get a new one. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you back next episode. Bye-bye.